just felt I was just gonna try to have fun and discover the new power of my little monster right there in the corner. I've completed the build. Firmware has been installed and tuned. We've got input shaper tuned and that was quite impressive. I'm, I'm very happy. I, I only printed one part so far and it's a VZ cube. I don't know where that cube is, but it was the first part without any tuning, any pressure advance, without uh, input shaper. I went straight in and say, let's just try 600 millimeters per second and uh, 10K. And it, it printed, and it printed very solidly for that speed, I think. <laughs> and and the, the issue is, or was, because I was running a MGM-7 on the x-axis, and now I'm running a high wind. I hope it's a genuine one. I think it is. It is so good that I think it is. Uh, genuine high wind, MGM-9 instead of MGM-7, because that MGM-7, I couldn't tune input shaper. Vibration was all over the place. The carriage itself was, it, it was tight. I mean, there was no play in that, in that rail it was good except it was very flexible and i didn't really like that and input shaper was all over the place so now i've got my genuine high wind it runs super good i was able to do an input shaper with impressive results <laughs> i've never seen on my printer anything like that um, recommended high acceleration like 46k <laughs> uh, on the x and like 20 something 23k on or 26k on the Y, so very, very impressive. So um, we're ready to start using the printer. And um, let me just uh, show you a bit what it looks like. This is from a wide angle, and I really like, this is running the, uh, the VZ hot end. This is a prototype version. So that thing also, so we have melting power. We have also cooling power with that CPAP. And now we have very powerful motors, four motors to run in that quad XY system or all wheel drive system. So we've got everything ready for, for extreme speed. Um, yeah, everything. So that's gonna be exciting to see and test and I'm gonna try to show you my, my, my adventure as well on this. So let's start by finding or trying to see what kind of speed in terms of motion system we can get out of it like how much acceleration how much um top speed and uh that that will be something very interesting to see so let's start with trying to see how much acceleration we can get out of those motors at something like a uh, thousand millimeters so i'm going to show you i've set up a little macro that everybody could use and it's really easy to um to use and I'm going to explain that a little later in the video when I'm in front of the computer. So everyone can use this macro, change a couple numbers in there, and, and test their, their maximum acceleration at any given speed. So if you want to test that 500 millisecond, millimeters per second, you just change that number to 500, and you launch the test, and you see how much acceleration you can get out of your machine. So let's start with that test and see how much we can get out of this one. I'm hoping it's going to be high. <laughs> Let's do that. There you go. We're ready to do the test. The DSLR is connected, ready to film, and the printer is ready. So what we're gonna do? Um, we're gonna we're gonna test a a 45 degree acceleration movement simply because this is a Core XY. In fact, uh, I call it Quad XY or all wheel drive because we got four motors, one in each corner. And uh, yeah, when you do 45 degree angle, it's gonna be only this motor and this motor running together. And on a more normal Core XY, it's only gonna be the back motor or if the motors are in front, it's gonna be one motor at every given time, but this time, two motors. So you wanna test the weakest point of your, your, your printer and that is in 45 degree uh, angle on a Core XY. So, we're gonna do that. I know for sure that my VZ330 in the corner there can do a thousand millimeters per second at 70K. I've tested that. So we're gonna start the test at 30, 30K. And every time it goes one, two, three, every time it goes a, a one way, it's gonna incremental um, 1K until it reaches a, a, a mistake or an issue. You'll, you'll hear that weird beep sound. 
<laughs> so we're going to be able to see at which uh, acceleration at a thousand millimeters per second this guy is going to fail me. So that's going to be interesting to see. So we're, we're ready to test. And if you want to reproduce this test at home, be very, very careful. You need to keep your, your finger on, on the emergency button right there. Um, because when the motor starts to fail, uh, you want to stop the test as soon as possible because they can go in all direction and hit uh, somewhere. So just be careful, be safe if you do this. Um, or yeah, just be careful. <laughs> you know, you'll see what it does. So um, we're ready to do this test. I'm going to put down the phone right now and I'm just going to screen record my laptop. So we're going to be able to see um, what we're going to be looking at is these guys here. You'll see that the acceleration will go up and we'll see what is the, the last value recorded that worked. So let's do that. All right, we're set up, we're ready to go. So I'm just gonna start and launch it. So I have a macro here called Excel Test X. And we're gonna take a look, it's starting at 30K. So I'm gonna go in front of the printer and get my finger ready to stop it with the emergency button. 37, 40. 41, 42, 45, 50K. Let's go in, 60K. 70K, this is where my VZ330 was failing. It's still going strong. <laughs> okay, 40, uh, 80K. 90k 100k we've hit 100 okay we're gonna be close 106 107 108 110k 115 120 125 oh my god okay we got 127 <laughs> oh my god that was kind of crazy <laughs> let me replace this guy here are the motors uh hot not even and they are running at two amp <laughs> 126 or 27 <laughs> that is just crazy so, okay, I, I'm betting we're gonna get the same kind of uh, uh, acceleration on, on the other two motors. They are the same motors, same driver, same everything. So we're not gonna do this. Um, we could test X and Y just for fun to see how much acceleration we can get out of four different motors, but I'm sure it's gonna be something like 200 and something. That's just gonna be too much crazy. So uh, you wanna really test the weakest point of your printer and that is on a core XY, again, on a 45 degree angle. So now let's see what kind of, of top speed we can hit. I wanna hit 200, uh, sorry, I wanna hit 2000 on this guy. 2000 is my next goal. And I think we are equipped for that speed. We have melting power, we have cooling power, we have motion power. So let's just do, um, let's just do that. Test how much we can, uh, how much speed we can get out of it and if we can reach 2000. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to do some calculation before we start. I think 50K is gonna be enough to reach that speed on 225, 230 um, travel distance. So we're gonna use 50K, that's gonna be good enough. I think at 50K we reach full speed around uh, 25 millimeters of travel. But let's do that, let's, let's start. All right, we are ready to do the test. Let's just own all axis first. And uh, we're gonna set our acceleration to 50K. 50K, come on. Why won't you stay there? Okay, I think I need to refresh the page. Okay, there you go, 50K. And uh, we're just gonna lower the bed by 10. And we're going to bring that Y about in the middle of the bed. 
about here is good. Okay, and we're gonna do this manual because I'm a little worried about that. So we're gonna start at 1500 millimeters per second. So it's 90,000 divided by 60, 1500. Woo! <laughs> that was quick. Let's go, let's see if it can do more. I, I really wanna reach 2000. <laughs> let's go back to X zero, so F, uh, let's jump to 92, oops, 92,000, <laughs> that did it, let's go to 95, woo, <laughs> that's, that's good, let's go back to uh, zero, let's do 90, 98, let's do 98, we're getting close, okay, Let's go straight to 100. Wow, we wanna reach 120, which is uh, 2000 millimeters per second or two meters per second. So um, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do it, but we're gonna try. So F, let's go, nah, that's a little bit too much. I guess we can do 105. 105 worked. Let's do 110. Oh, that, that did it. We're, we're, we're gonna reach that 120. Let, in fact, let's just try it. Screw that, let's jump right into it. Okay, ready? Oh, okay, that, that didn't work. So, uh, I'm pretty sure we can do this though. Let's uh, home that again. Um, if we lower the acceleration, let me use that rep wrap calculator here. So we are traveling 225 millimeter. We want a speed of 2000. Uh, let's drop that to 40K. Are we gonna be able to reach? Yeah, so we're gonna reach full speed at, after 15 millimeters of travel. That means we have uh, all the way from 50 to 175, so 125 millimeters of distance that we're gonna be at full speed. Let's do that. I'm sure that's gonna work. I hope, at least, because I really wanna reach 2000. 40K. 40K. All right, lower that bed down. Um, about here, okay, let's do that, um, G235, um, let's, let's just try it right away and see if that will do it. <laughs> Yay, we did it, it did it, that's, that's crazy, let's do it one more time, let's go back to zero. So I'm gonna do it multiple times now to see. <laughs> we can reach 2000, there you go. So yeah, so that means we have the power to reach 2000. Um, I hope we're gonna have the melting power. I hope we're gonna have the cooling power. Now the only thing that we need is 20K subscribers and we're ready to test that. We're ready to print at that speed. So if you wanna see this, just bring your friends. We need more subscribers. Um, 20K, we do this. <laughs> That's gonna be epic. So um, anyway, I think we're done for today or tonight. So I'm gonna do another video explaining my macro and how you can also test the acceleration yourself using my macro. So that's gonna be in, in another video. Um, and another video coming, we're gonna do the firmware installation and tuning of that printer. So on this, everyone, have a good night. See you later, bye-bye.